now we're ready to put it back on. When you insert your carburetor, it's going to go this way. First, you want to install your throttle cable into the third hole here. This is where it was on this one. Just like that. Then line up the holes on the carb to the studs. Push it in like that. Next, you want to put this air filter cover on this way. And now you'll need to put the two 3 8 nuts at the back here. And tighten them up evenly. Now you want to hook up the fuel lines and as you can see they can only go in one spot. So the long one here, which is the primer line without the filter at the end, goes on this connector. And make sure that the hose goes on tight on the connector or else you can have a leak, an air leak. And this one goes on like that. Now this screw here is the high screw and that's the low screw. You would adjust this screw here with the throttle wide open at high speeds by turning in or out till it runs at the best. And the low screw here you can adjust while it's idling or running slower. If it runs too rich, turn in the low screw. If it runs too lean, you would turn it out a bit to give it more fuel. So I'll try it out and see what happens. What I've got here is some uh, Quicker State one loop penetrating oil and it is flammable so I'm going to prime it so that I don't have to pull 10 times to get the fuel up just for a quicker start So once you've got it adjusted properly where it runs good at high speed and idle, what you want to do is adjust your idling of the engine by either turning out to make it slower or turning in to make it go quicker and I'll just demonstrate that. I like mine to be idling a bit fast because it's more responsive when you throttle up. And this one's got no clutch, so the trimmer head's always turning. With the trimmers with the clutch, what you do is you adjust the idle until the trimmer head stops to turn. Once you've got it running the way you want, just reinstall the air filter. If it's dirty, just clean it in dish soap and hot water. It just goes in like that, then this snaps in there. The last thing you can do once you're sure you've got the setting right is install the screw caps here and that will prevent it from going out of adjustment again. Just push them in. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys and we'll see you in my next uh, videos.